Hi, Room 230. It's time for writing. Last um, few lessons, we've been thinking about how to write our opinion, and now we're going to shift and do something new. We're going to think about how to write letters, and I'm going to read a story to you, a book called First Year Letters that has some examples of letters in them, and then we're going to think about how we can write our own letters. So I'm just going to jump right in to this book and then we're going to talk when I'm done reading. I think I'll read half of it today and half of it next week. When we're done reading, I'll explain to you what I want you to do about writing a letter. So this book is called First Year Letters and it's about this teacher right here. Her name is Sarah Jane Hartwell and she is a first year teacher and she has set up a post office for her students so they can write letters back and forth to each other. So let's take a look. Dear Mrs. Hartwell, on the first day of school, I thought I saw your hand shake when you wrote your name on the chalkboard. That's when I figured you might be a little scared, just like me. And that made me feel better. Then you asked me to help you set up our brand new classroom post office. And that's when I figured this is going to be a great year. Thanks, Sharon. So this book starts with it being at the very beginning of the year. Can you remember back to the beginning of the school year for us, back to September? Seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? Oh, here's a handwritten letter from Josh. September 14th. Dear Mrs. Hartwell, our classroom is awesome and I can't wait to send letters and I hope I get lots and lots of letters back in the mail. And do you know the address of the White House? Sincerely, Josh. Dear Mrs. Hartwell, this one is from October 14th. I thought of a few more things to add to our list of important things teachers should know. Number one, on pizza day, we cannot be late. The pepperoni pieces go fast. Number two, more recess, please. Number three, bringing Friday treats is a great idea, but just so you know, most kids don't eat broccoli or cauliflower unless they have to. From Andy, P.S. Can this letter count as my example of a friendly letter? A friendly letter is just um, what is the kind of letter you would just write to somebody that you know personally, as opposed to writing a formal letter, which maybe you would write a formal letter, like if you were writing, I don't know, like the President of the United States or something. November 8th. Dear Mrs. Hartwell, when Mrs. Burton came into our class today, your face turned really red. I peeked to see what she was writing. I couldn't read a word. Did you know Mrs. Burton has very messy handwriting? Sincerely, Carl. It looks like maybe Mrs. Burton is the principal and she's coming in to observe Mrs. Hartwell and maybe Mrs. Hartwell got a little bit nervous. Dear Mrs. Hartwell, Thank you for the delicious chocolate chip cookies. I'm sure Eddie didn't barf because of your baking. Actually, I think he got sick because he is a big fat cookie hog. After you left to clean your shoes, Gordon, the janitor, said you'd probably never come back. I'm really glad you did. Very sincerely, Maria. Uh-oh, it looks like maybe somebody got sick and Miss Hartwell has to go clean her shoes now. That was nice of Maria to write her a letter. November 22nd, dear Mrs. Hartwell, I'm sorry about throwing up all over your shoes. I hope you didn't take it personally. I think I would have barfed over any teacher. Well, except Mr. Murphy. He scares the barf right out of me. Your friend, Eddie. P.S. I bought you some new socks. I hope you like them since I picked them out myself. <laughs> so this is written by Eddie. He's the kid who got sick all over the floor. And look, there's the socks that he bought her. That was nice. 
December 3rd. Dear Mrs. Hartwell, Mrs. Burton is making me write this letter during detention. Detention is where you have to go if you get in trouble. I'm supposed to tell you sorry for ruining our reading party. I'm not quite sure how Daisy got loose. Daisy is their pet snake. While you were chasing her down the hall, Mrs. Burton came in and told us to get started on our math. The day went downhill after that. Sincerely, Andy. P.S. I'm sure Daisy will come back soon. So here we see Daisy, their class pet, and it looks like she got loose and escaped. Uh-oh. And it sounds like maybe Andy got in trouble as well. So he's writing a letter to apologize. December 6th, dear Sarah, that's Mrs. Hartman, the teacher. I found Daisy Gordon. So here is the custodian, Mr. Gordon, and he is writing her a quick note on a post-it. Sometimes quick notes can be a letter as well. And he's just letting her know, I found Daisy. Looks like she was hiding in a garbage can. December 10th. Dear Mrs. Hartwell, thanks to you, science is my all-time favorite subject. I thought Firefighter Phil was nice, didn't you? I think I'll write him a letter. Scientifically yours, Jack. P.S. When you wear your safety goggles, you look just like my frog, Benny. Uh-oh. It looks like they were doing a science experiment and something went wrong and caught fire and the fire department had to come. And even though it looks like it was kind of a big mess, it made Jack feel extra interested in science. So he wrote a letter to Mrs. Hartwell to let her know that. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I think I'll read the rest of this book in our next lesson. But what I want us to think about today is writing letters to people that we know. In the mail, maybe it's come already. If it hasn't, that's okay. It will come soon. I have sent you some paper that looks like this. This is our letter writing template. You can also go get this from the resource box that is in the Kids Co. parking lot at Graham Hill. Sometimes kids get confused about which way is up. So there is a heart at the top and that tells you which side is up. And then the blanks, the lines here show you where to write things. So this top line here is where you write the date. And then this line here is where you write the greeting. And the greeting is what I want to talk about today. Today we're gonna to focus on writing letters and including a greeting. Did you notice in all of the letters here, well, almost all of them, they all started with dear so-and-so. So when you write a letter, it's normal to start it off with the words dear. And that just is a nice way of saying, this is who it's to and I care about you. So we're gonna write a letter and I thought I would write a letter to Miss Safrick because I haven't seen her in a while and I'm missing her. And I thought I would let, write a letter and let her know how I'm feeling. So I'm going to turn my camera so you can see as well. So here I have my writing letter template and I have a heart at the top so I know that I have my, my paper turned the right direction. So this line here is for the date and this line here is for the greeting. And then you can write what you want to say here. And then this, these two lines down here are for the closing. So let me show you what I mean. Today is May 10th. So I am going to write the date. May 10, and then you put a comma, and then put the year, 2020. So that's where you put the date, May 10th comma 2020. This comma is gonna be important. You're gonna learn that there's actually several places you need to put a comma when you're writing a letter. So this is comma number one. When you write the date, you put a comma after the number, the day, and before the year. May 10th comma 2020. Now this line is where I say who this letter is to. I've decided I wanna write a letter to Miss Safrick. So I'm going to write 
Dear Ms. Safrek, when you write the greeting, you can start it with the words dear. Or if you choose, you can also say like to. You could say to Ms. Safrek or whoever you're gonna choose to write to. And then what's really important is that you remember at the end of it, you put a comma. So here's our comma number two. We have a comma here and a comma here. Dear Miss Safrick. Now the rest of these lines is what I want to say to her. So I'm going to tell her that I am missing seeing her and that I hope she's doing well at her house. Dear Miss Safrick, It's been a long time since I've seen you. I wish we could be at Graham Hill. How are you doing? I hope you and your pets. Do you remember how many pets Miss Safrick has? Yeah, she has a lot of pets. She has chickens and rabbits and cats. She has a lot of pets and, and the lizards our class pets. I hope you and your pets are doing good. I miss our class pets. Rose and little lightning. Are they still eating a lot of crickets? I think I'll end it with saying, please write me back soon. Please write me back soon. So that's the end of my letter, but I also need to now sign off and say who it's from. So I'm going to write, sincerely, Ms. Dietz. So here is my letter. I have included a date. I have included the greeting, Dear Miss Safrick. And then I've included some sentences to her where I'm telling her how I miss her and I'm asking her how things are going for her. And then at the end, I have my closing where I say sincerely, comma, Miss Dietz. So I would like for you to write a letter. I'd like for you to choose a person to write to. It can be Miss Safrick or it can be anyone that you choose to write to. If you have these, the letter template at home, you can use that. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can just use normal paper. I want you to write a letter and I want to make you to make sure that you include the date with a comma and a greeting with a comma. And then take a picture of that and send it to me. So when I get your assignment, I'm expecting to see two commas. I'm expecting to see a comma in the date and I'm expecting to see a comma in the greeting, just like this. And then of course you're gonna write what you have to say and then put your closing at the end where you're saying who it's from. 
So think about who you want to write to. Maybe you want to write to Ms. Safrick too because you haven't seen her in a while. Maybe you want to write a letter to me. I would love to get a letter from you. Maybe you want to write a letter to a classmate that you miss or another Graham Hill teacher that you haven't seen in a while. Like maybe you want to write Miss Hogan or um, Coach Hyde or maybe you want to let Miss Marion know that you miss her. Whoever it is that you want to write to, that it's your choice, but please take a picture of it and turn it in to me on Friday. All right, the last thing I want to show you is that on IXL, I want you to do, um, sorry, my computer logged off. doesn't want me to log back in. There we go. So on IXL, I want you to be doing some homework around letter writing. Normally when you go to IXL, you think of IXL as a place to do math. But if you go up here and click on learning, you can go to this section here that says language arts. Language arts is a fancy way of saying reading and writing. So click on language arts. There it is. Scroll down to section D, or level D, I mean. And then scroll down quite a ways to this area that's called writing strategies. And I want you to actually, sorry, it's not writing strategies, it's grammar and mechanics. I want you to go all the way down to this section, why, why, two whys, <laughs> isn't that funny? Why, why, punctuation. And do you see that all of these say commas, commas with a series, commas with dates, commas with the names of places, commas review. This whole section is learning how to use commas. Commas are really, um, we use commas when we write letters. And so I want you practicing your commas. So I want you to go to IXL, Language Arts, Level D, Section YY, and do this section here on punctuation on commas. And that is your writing assignment for the week. Write a letter, and take a picture of it and send it to me. And then don't forget to include your commas in the date and in the greeting. And then I also want you to do IXL Language Arts Level D Section YY, which is about all about commas. Next week, we're gonna think about how we can um, write the body of our letter. So looking forward to seeing all those letters. I'm hoping somebody will write a letter to me. I promise I will write you a letter back if you do. And then you can take a picture of those, text them or email them, or you can go on Schoology and just type them straight into Schoology. All of those are great ways of getting those letters to me. And I look forward to seeing them. Talk to you soon and I will um, we'll do more writing next week. Bye-bye.